here at Hyundai of Chantilly and I'm standing next to the 2019 Genesis G70. If you don't know, Genesis is actually the luxury branding of Hyundai's vehicles. So it is all the luxury for a little bit of a price. Today I'm here to show and tell you about this awesome luxury vehicle. The Genesis G70 actually won 2019 Motor Trends Car of the Year. This car also directly competes with the BMW Series 3. Now let's go ahead and start with some of the exterior features. This specific G70 here at Hyundai of Chantilly is fully loaded. This car has the most packages and features to it. With the Genesis G70, you have two options. You can get a four cylinder or you can get a turbo V6, which actually has 365 horsepower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> you, you could go on a racetrack with this vehicle, actually. Rear wheel drive is standard in this vehicle, but this specific G70 actually has the all wheel drive upgrade to it. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the body of the vehicle. To me personally, I think that this car has a little bit of a sporty look, but also the traditional car look as well. Of course, it has the structured lining on the hood and on the side of the vehicle. It also has this boomerang type vent on the side, which kind of gives it more of a sporty look as well. I also feel like the headlights also give that more sleek, sportier look, how they kind of round the front of the vehicle. But I also think something interesting is the grill of this vehicle. I haven't really seen a grill like this before. It almost looks like a gate in a way. It's very interesting and definitely looks more luxurious than a standard. Now that I'm done talking about the exterior of this awesome vehicle, let's go ahead on the inside where most of the features really are. We're at a different angle today because the dashboard actually is a little slanted, so you guys would be falling off the floor every five seconds probably. So we're gonna do it from this angle. And it's cute, it's a cute angle, so hey, whatever. So I'm not gonna turn on the car just yet. I'm actually gonna talk about the upholstery first. So as you can see throughout the entire car, there's this theme of the diamond pattern throughout or quilted as some people might call it. I really like that. That definitely gives it more of a luxury feel as well. It's just, you know, it gives it a little design. It's not basic, it's not boring. It gives it a little oomph, you know what I'm talking about? So I really like that. It definitely makes it feel more luxury. Also, because this car's fully loaded, like I said, has all the packages. It actually comes with rear heated seats, which is really nice. Only on the sides though, not the middle one, unfortunately, so the middle person's gonna be losing out. But on the side seats, there is the heated seats and it has the three levels, of course. All right, so let's turn this baby on and hear what she sounds like. No copy right here. I don't know if you can hear it because I'm hooked up to a mic, but it is pretty loud. The engine, honestly, if I'm being honest here, it really does remind me of a BMW car. The kind of purr of the engine, I, I like it. It's, it's nice, it's good to hear. Makes me feel like I'm gonna be going fast on the road. Safely fast, of course. The gear shift, actually when you adjust it, I'm not gonna do that because you know I'm gonna end up going through the dealership. So we're not gonna play around with it, but the gear shift actually, when you shift it, it returns back to the middle. So most of the gear shifts actually stay in place. So that might be a little confusing, but there's nothing to worry about because it actually pops up in the screen, in the cockpit, so you can see which gear you're in. Same with the windshield wipers. Because you flick it upwards and it returns back to the middle, you might not be aware of how fast your windshield wipers are going. You know, you're still pressing and you're like, it's a big torrential downpour and it's like, oh my gosh. Where, where's, what setting is my windshield wiper in? Not to worry again, because the windshield wiper settings actually come up in the cockpit. Something really cool about this vehicle is, you know, new cars have navigation, GPS. You can type in your location and go, or you can type in your location, save it to a setting, and that way you don't have to type in again. You can just like press it or something. No need to worry. Who needs to type when you can just speak? Please say the POI name or address you want to find. That listens to your voice very well and picks up what you say and gets you to your destination quickly. Hyundai of Chantilly. 
Would you like to set this as the destination? It'll save your destination once you have it in and you're set on your way, way quicker than you'll be typing in something. Another feature that's really cool is actually here on the passenger seat, you can move the seat forward. I know y'all see that. Or back, or literal forward, or back. So with these controls on the side, say you have children and they need to get in, get out, and you're already sitting in the driver's seat and you need to move the seat, you don't have to reach or get up and get out on the other side. You can just sit here, adjust it here, and you know, do you do your thing. So I think that's a really great addition that they put into this luxury vehicle here on the side passenger seat, have the seat control switches, makes it a lot easier for the driver to control what needs to happen back here and that way you don't have to walk all the way around on the passenger side if you're already sitting in the driver's seat. I think that's a really cool feature. So I can adjust from Smart, Eco, Comfort, Sport and custom. Once you go into sport mode and if you go into menu and you go to convenience, go all the way down and you can have lateral seat support for sport mode. When I put it in sport, the sides of the seat actually tighten up, which makes it more of a sports car feel. That way you feel more secure and you are ready to go. So I think that's really cool as well. You don't always have to have it within that tight conforming space like other sports cars you have the option to change that if you would like to all right now we're on to our last feature let's go here on the navigation screen and let's go to setup now we're going to go into vehicle which is the vehicle settings and you can change the active engine sound that you hear in the car you can enhance it which is what it's set on now you can normalize it minimalize it or turn it off. I don't know who would want it enhanced. Maybe if you're really racing and you just want to hear the engine just purr. But other than that, I would definitely turn that thing off because even though it sounds really nice, I like my peace and quiet and to hear all my music and only my music in here. But that's just me and that is why you have the option to change it because everybody's different. So that's all the features of the interior and exterior of the 2019 Genesis G70, this luxury car that is affordable. I think that it's an awesome vehicle, makes me feel extremely luxurious, and it's for a reasonable price compared to other luxury vehicles. This is a great competitor to the BMW Series 3, and I think that it gets the job done and even more the amazing features and packages that this car comes with fully loaded is completely worth it i love this vehicle and you guys would love it too so don't forget to stop by hyundai of chantilly and come check out the genesis g70 today thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye It is a little gloomy, but that's why I'm wearing this very bright and colorful. Whoa. That, that is why I'm wearing this bright and colorful. That is why I'm wearing this bright and colorful. What the heck? Because the, the, oh, that threw me off. Menus here on the navigation scream, scream? What is wrong with me?